Hmm, this pineapple was really essential. It was all I needed to get the strength for the day. Thank God I followed the spirit when they told me to close my eyes and rest. Ah, very, very, very expedient. Find out why. We agreed to the refineries. Come with me, guys. This is Bam Bam, my cameraman. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 boy. Plenty. And of course, Bala is here, boy. Of course, they can't look here because we, our safety is priority. Right, right, yeah, that's the pilot. <laughs> it's the pilot. Our safety is of, oh, he can look now because of the traffic. Hello. Hi. <laughs> So it's gonna be a fun trip guys come with me mm, of course the trademark traffic in lagos so we're going all the way down to ibejuleki lagos where the dangote refinery is located uh, ibibs has to rest now she has taken a beauty sleep in preparation for the work ahead Mm. Let me shall spare you the story of how we kept driving and driving and driving on this endless trip. If you had gone to Ibadan, trust me, you would have gone and returned before we got to this place. So this is the entrance of the refinery, but apparently they said uh, we had to go to the other side, which is of course also part of it. This place is a huge, very huge expanse of land, trust me. By the way, did you see my colleague there? That's him again. Frank. Frank is a cool dude. He's my G right from day one. Yeah, he gave the two fingers. Look at him again in the suit, the gray suit. It's the he is the TVC correspondent who covered this. And look at this beautiful place. Look at this masterpiece. Oh my god. It was just the only thing in my head was <laughs> having a picnic. Now look at these guys. Isn't this a sight to the hound? Mm. Nice, isn't it? I could as well have a picnic here, can I? Just to lay a mat on the floor, get some fruits for family and friends have some fun guys let me shock you dangote had to build this spot for his operations do you know that these pipes that you see here are urea uh, pipes where urea is being exported through you know this port and the dangote fertilizer plant has the capacity to produce three million tons of urea every year isn't that massive okay so they're already arriving talking about the delegates from the national assembly right here you're going to be seeing the um senate president uh godswill apabio you're going to be seeing so many other people so yeah they're right here you see uh the host of the national assembly here the president got to Lapabio, the delegate from the national assembly and you have the vice president oil and gas at dangote here mr edwin devakuma you have the president of the largest single train facility in the world aliko dangote himself yes so mr devakuma right here briefing the national assembly delegates on what they see where they are what this is used for what happens here so that's what's going on it's very interesting it was really fun and insightful a lot to learn about how urea is passed through these pipes and then it is exported outside the country isn't that really something to be proud of <laughs> And so the journey continues straight to the refineries now to see for ourselves the wonder <laughs> well as the lagos state governor described it the eighth wonder of the world <laughs> come with me guys i'm sure you're having fun you're having as much fun as i did well it was quite stressful but what stress when you're getting all the knowledge when you're getting added to you almost forget that you're going through stress and that was what happened that day we left the office as early as 7 a.m and trust me we didn't leave until dusk so here you get a brother and closer view of the pots hey. we are here Be 
And then the Lagos State Governor joined in on the entourage. Apparently, he's been a regular visitor to this facility, and so this wasn't his first time coming here. So more pictures, briefings, sharing of pleasantries. Hmm. At this point, what was going through my mind is how is this man able to sleep at night with a large-scale, massive expanse of business he's running? It was at this point it dawned on me that I was the only female on the media crew and this is Mr. Victor Ohai, my new friend who loves to take pictures and does a lot of things. Let's cut to a very important part of the strip. Breakfast! Ah, oh, at this point I was really famished. So this came in timely and we did justice to it. Uh, before we continued the rest of our trip yes so what you see here is the fertilizer plant and what other word could capture this than magnificent magnificent whoa just look at this it was raining but that didn't stop the national assembly members who were here to see for themselves what impressive great work has been done here by one of our own Aliko Dangote. Here we come. My crew here. G Alpha. G. Alpha G. No, so so sorry. Sorry. Don't go. You don't, you don't I'm tired. Hello, we have overused me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm using my last train to talk. Uh, How are you? Hello. It won't, it won't need. We are still here. We have no results. You can see that it is dark. Mm. We are doing our. We are still on our duty posts. Mm. This is what's the time now? Let me check. So it's 7.25 on the p.m. right now and we're still on the road, on the island, VI to be precise. See, it's even dark right here. Let me get to a bright place and you see the faces of my crew members. See, they've all entered silent mode. <laughs> Everybody's tired. But we're grateful. We've accomplished so much today. We've done so much and it's it's my team is deserving of all the kudos. Right. Hey water,